BBC News with Sue Montgomery. Reports from California say police have found a body in a van which they broke into as they continued to search for the suspect in a mass shooting. Ten people were killed at a dance venue in Monterey Park during the Lunar New Year celebrations on Saturday night. The area is home to one of the largest Asian American communities in the US. Peter Bowes reports from Los Angeles. The police said they were looking for an Asian man aged between 30 and 50. About 14 hours after the shooting, officers surrounded a van some 20 miles from the scene. After a short standoff, a body, believed to be that of the suspect, was reportedly found inside. Investigators say it's too early to pinpoint a motive for the attack, including the possibility that it could have been motivated by hate. The German Chancellor Olaf Scholz is facing growing domestic and international pressure to allow German-built Leopard 2 tanks to be sent to Ukraine. This report from David Bamford. Germany's Foreign Minister Annalena Baerbock, speaking on French television, has repeated her view that Berlin should not stand in the way if Poland decided to deploy its German Leopard 2s in Ukraine. Till now, Mr. Scholz has been fiercely criticised by Poland and the Baltic states for failing to authorise the export of any of the modern German-made tanks to Ukraine. Speaking in Paris, where he's been meeting President Emmanuel Macron, he said his government would act in coordination with its allies on the issue. President Macron said he didn't rule out sending French tanks. President Biden has said the fight for abortion rights in the United States is not over on what would have been the 50th anniversary of the Roe v. Wade ruling. He was speaking as activists across the U.S. gathered to take part in the annual Women's March. Our North America editor, Sarah Smith, reports from Washington. Women and men have been marching through state capitals and big cities and towns right across America uh, to say that they will continue to fight for reproductive rights for women. And even though there is now uh, no guarantee in the Constitution for a woman to have an abortion, they will fight state by state to try and overturn bans in some states which have completely outlawed abortion uh, and work in other states to try and keep it available. An outspoken Cameroonian radio journalist has been found dead after he disappeared on Tuesday in a suspected abduction. Martinez Zogo was director of the privately owned Amplitude FM and hosted a popular radio show. He had recently talked on air about an alleged embezzlement case involving a wealthy businessman and top officials. The body of the radio presenter was found dumped outside the capital Yaoundé. BBC News. Relatives and friends of dozens of protesters detained in Peru after storming a university campus on Saturday have gathered outside the police headquarters in Lima to demand information about them. The authorities in Peru said more than 200 people had been taken into custody for illegally trespassing on the San Marcos University's premises in the capital. The unrest began six weeks ago after the left-wing president, Pedro Castillo, was impeached for alleged corruption and detained. Police in Somalia say an Islamist militant attack on the mayor's office in the capital Mogadishu has left at least six civilians dead. A police spokesman said five Al-Shabaab gunmen were also killed during an exchange of fire with security forces. The attack began when a suicide bomber targeted the building before the jihadist gunmen stormed in. The Portuguese footballer Cristiano Ronaldo has led his Saudi Arabian team Al Nasser to victory on his first match for the club. His team won the league game against El Atifak 1-0. These Al Nasser supporters watched the game in the capital Riyadh. I came for Ronaldo. Since it is his first match, the performance wasn't as expected, but we enjoyed it. The first appearance of Ronaldo was good. But the defenders were pressing on him too much. Hopefully, we'll see him do better in the next match against Al Ittihad. Ronaldo joined Al Nasser from Manchester United and is reportedly earning the biggest salary in the sport's history. The governing body of women's football in England has been criticised after a match between Chelsea and Liverpool was abandoned a few minutes after kick-off because of a frozen pitch. Several players slipped. The Chelsea manager likened the conditions to an ice rink. Both sides said facilities for the women's game should be better. BBC News.